it's me Shari J and today I'm here to do an empties video for you guys. For a while now I've been doing a yay or nay video for you guys each week but this week I'm not going to do one instead I'm going to do an empties video because the product that I was going to do a yay or nay on has not arrived yet and it is a drugstore one and I'm due for a drugstore review. So instead I figured the next best thing is to do an empty video because it's kind of like yay or nay but it's more borrow because I've used all of these products and I'm going to give like my full on honest review because I've used all of these products up. So hopefully that's okay with you and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So the first thing is the Burt's Bees Peach and Willow Bark Deep Pore Scrub. Now I got this product when I was in North Carolina. I told you guys I always get the Carolinas mixed up. I think I was in North Carolina and Yes, I was in Santee. Mm -hmm. And on the way there, I was reading a ma magazine that was talking about how sleeping in your makeup makes you age like a ridiculous amount each time you do it. And I always sleep in my makeup. But for some reason, reading that article scared the bejesus out of me. And I was like, oh my God, I don't have any makeup remover. What am I going to do? So there was a Rite Aid up the street from my hotel that I was staying at and this was on sale. So I decided to try it out. I'm not a huge Burt's Bees fan. It's not like I always go to that brand. However, this stuff was uh, amazing. I like the fact that the granules, I think that's what you call them, um, there's like actual bark in this scrub and you can feel it on your skin. I told you guys before in the video that when it comes to scrub, I like a real scrub that you can like feel it working. You can feel the dirt coming out of your pores. This is what I'm talking about. So I love this. I think I paid like $5 for it, I don't know. But this is amazing and it's all gone now. And what I've kind of replaced it with is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Extensive Exfoliator. And this is just a sample size. I got this at Sephora. I think it was a hundred point sample. Um, if you're in VIB, then you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I really like this. The granules in this aren't as big as this one. So I feel like if you don't like big like scrubbers, I I'm calling them granules, but I don't know if that's right. So I'm going to say scrubbers. Like if you don't like big pieces of stuff in your scrubs then you are not going to like this because they're pretty big and they're pretty harsh you have to make sure your skin is wet when you use this because if it's like damp it's going to hurt because it hurt the first time I used it but if you like something a little bit smaller that's not as intense then this one is going to be up your alley but I really I like both of these I don't know if I want to pay the money that this one costs because it's pretty expensive but if you want something drugstore and affordable go this route for sure it is amazing that was like a long long review sorry next up is going to be the twist mist from original moxie i go through these things like it ain't nothing i use this product every single day i love the fact that it is lightweight shine i said this when i first got it and i what I, I used this product like four years ago or something like that. This is the only product that gives me amazing shine and it's lightweight, extremely lightweight. It doesn't weigh your hair down or anything like that. And there's other products out there on the market that is supposed to give your hair shine, but nothing, nothing compares to this. It's expensive, but I totally think it's worth it. If you are one of those people who has like dry dull hair and your mom talks about you like she talked about me when I first went natural. Your hair is cute but it looks real dry. Mom, okay, my hair is not dry, it's moisturized. It doesn't, it just doesn't look, you know, like it's full of life and shiny and all that stuff. But then I got this product and it took care of all of that. She wasn't talking about me no more. So I'm just saying, <laughs> this product is super amazing and I think I'm always going to use it. I know I'm always going to use it because nothing compares. Next up is the Ever Butter Face and Body Cocoa Love Body Wash. And I use this like maybe for two or three months. This was 
okay. The only reason why I say it's okay is because I'm used to body washes being very sudsy, has a great leather, suds all over my body, just taking over the shower. And this didn't do that for me. Um, she said that when she made this, she was she doesn't use uh, body washes, so she didn't know that that was like a factor. Um, so I was just like, oh, okay, but I used it all because I, you know, it was a good body wash it just didn't have that sub factor that I really like but as far as actually cleaning my body and making my body feel great it did just that but it just lacked it just lacked on the suds factor so yeah if, if she got more suds in that bottle I will definitely use it again next up is the Ben 9 banana luxury powder <laughs> I want to say luxury for some reason luxury powder and I was almost a little bit less. I didn't know. Oh, okay. I bought this like three years ago. I want to say when I first really, really got into makeup. And I love this stuff. Now, I got it when it was all the rage on YouTube. Everybody was losing their mind for midnight. And everybody was using the banana powder. And then the dark skin girls were using the banana powder. And it was like, y'all know it's other colors out there. Y'all should use the topaz powder. But... I love the banana powder. I always used it. I thought that it really did a good job of highlighting my face. So I always use this. I do have a, a darker colored powder that I use today since I'm out of this one. But I don't feel like it highlights well enough. So I was thinking about repurchasing this because I love this powder and it wasn't too expensive. However, there's another powder that all the girls are talking about now on YouTube. It's the Sasha Buttercup powder. So I'm thinking about getting that because I think it's about the same price point as banana powder. But I don't know. Like I know I can't get this on the ground. At least not in my area. And I know I can't get Sasha Buttercup on the ground. So I think I'm going to go the Sasha Buttercup route. If you guys have used both, please let me know which one you would recommend. Because all the girls I feel like that I watch on YouTube when it comes to makeup are talking about the Buttercup. So Next up is the Body Shops Wild Argon Oil Body Butter. And... I love this stuff. There's like a holiday pack. It comes with three small body butters. And that was my first time using Body Shops butters ever before. And I didn't really like it. It didn't really feel moisturizing. And it kind of felt plasticky in my hands, if that makes sense. Like, it just felt kind of waxy. And I was just like, why are people talking about this stuff? Like, this stuff is not great. But then I tried this, like a full size. And it felt amazing on my skin. It wasn't too thick, it wasn't too creamy, it was like right in the middle, that great consistency that I liked and it left my skin feeling amazing. And I kind of liked the scent too, it wasn't too strong, it was just enough fragrance to it that it didn't, it wasn't off-putting but it wasn't like boom in your face as well. So I really, really liked this. But I'm kind of feeling like the miniature ones that you get in the sample pack for like the holidays aren't the same formula I guess is this because they, t they felt totally different um I don't know if it's because this is argon oil one and those are not though I think it was like apple I, I don't even know I'm not gonna guess but I know I had vanilla and I know I had apple and I think I had like raspberry or something like that but I did not like any of them and the this one was great so I don't know about that but I do know that some people do change their formulas or their packaging when it comes to the holiday like the, and I always say don't get makeup brushes that come in the holiday sets because they're not as great quality as the regular brushes so I'm guessing it's the same when it comes to the body shop butters I don't know though next up is the essential 17th hair growth oil by LK naturals and I do have a tiny smidget of this left but I love this oil I have been loving this oil for I want to say two years now um when I, I actually talked to black honest that's like that's my friend y'all and <laughs> she said that this is actually something you're supposed to use like on your scalp that's why the applicator is here so you can actually like put it and you know let it get to your scalp I use this stuff on my hair and she was like yeah a lot of people say that they like to use it on your hair I like to use it on my hair. I don't think I've ever used this on my scalp. I think I did for like the review. But 
me personally just like when i'm using this on my own i use this on my hair i think it's a great oil because it's a little thicker than most oils and i like to use it like in the fall and winter time when i really want to seal in the moisture from a moisturizer or from a cream based product like it it just makes it feel like it's a little thicker so it has a, a um more of a barrier onto the hair. So. And the last thing I'm going to talk about today is actually a mascara. It's from Origins. It's the Gen Zing Brightening Mascara to Lengthen and Lift. And this isn't necessarily empty because I have a lot of this left, but it's kind of like you can tell it's, it's done. Like this is done. I shouldn't be using it. I've had this for over two years now and y'all know that products do not supposed to last that long. So that's why I'm going to declare it empty. But I really, really love this mascara. I know a lot of people say that mascaras are all the same. Don't spend your money on them. Like a mascara is a mascara is a mascara. I totally disagree with that. When I used this, I was like, okay, I was wrong. Because it really lifted my lashes like no other mascara has done before. And before, I was only using drugstore mascaras because, again, I thought all mascaras were equal. And this changed my mind so yeah I really love this mascara like I said it just it really did what it said it said lengthen and lift and it did just that I never got any mascara before this one to actually lift my lashes lashes without having to use a curler so this stuff is great I'm using it now I don't know if you can tell I'll try to do like a close-up so you can tell but it doesn't do as well as it did before because it's just done it's like expired it's should have threw this in the garbage a long time ago. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this empties video. A yay or nay video will be here next week. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. And it is a drugstore product. And it is a very, it's a new product. Like a product that is just, would have just came out. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you are subscribed to my vlog channel. I'm uploading every single day with a giveaway at the end of each video. So subscribe and enter for a chance to win great things that are my favorites on this channel so yeah i'll talk to you guys in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye